In the 18th century, British merchants shipped around three million people from West Africa across the Atlantic to the Americas and sold them into slavery. They made four trillion pounds from the unpaid labor alone. Portugal and Holland pioneered this slave route. Britain made a national fortune from it. Much of the Britain we know today was built with slave money. Ports, cities and canals, even the Church of England has admitted making money from the slave business. By the 19th century, a fifth of the British elite had made their fortunes from slavery. Among them, David Cameron's distant cousin, General Sir James Duff. The Liverpool merchants who founded what's now Barclays Bank were slave traders. In 1833, when slavery was abolished, slave owners were paid 20 million pounds in compensation for their loss of property. That's two billion pounds today. More than 10 million people died as a direct result of the Atlantic slave trade. But the survivors got nothing. West Africa, nothing. Now 15 Caribbean states, including Jamaica, have launched the first united campaign for reparations from Britain, France and Holland. They have suggested compensation equal to the sum offered to slave owners in the 1830s, two billion pounds. They also want an apology, Don't blush. recognition of the historic atrocity. They hid in caves. My great-grandmother was born in a cave to make sure that she was not born as a slave. And that is what Britain perpetuated. But the British government has refused to give either. David Cameron's first official visit to Jamaica has amplified calls on Britain to agree to reparations. Some argue that if Britain did pay, it wouldn't be the elite footing the bill but the tax-paying working classes. Others have said, this was 200 years ago, it's in the past, why should I pay now? In Jamaica, Slavery was followed with a century of colonialism. Most of the land is still in the hands of Europeans. When the Brits left in 1962, 80% of the population were functionally illiterate. Male literacy remains four points below the global average. 19% of the country live in poverty. When historic crimes have generational victims, who should pay? Basically, slavery and genocide has impacted not only the historical populations that were kidnapped from Africa, but also those of us who are the descendants of the enslaved today. And it's not only about trauma and multi-generational oppression, the whole discussion around wealth. There has been unjust enrichment to Britain, and there's also been unjust impoverishment, which has been passed on throughout the generations. So part of the legacy is this huge inequality that we see today mm. between the descendants of the enslavers and the descendants of the enslaved. And what about and, and psychological scars which have had societal effects, uh, ongoing economic effects to which Definitely. you've already said? What are, the, what are the psychological scars? Well, of part of that... Intergenerationally. Yeah, intergenerationally, it's, it's not knowing who we are. It's a lack of connection, it's a lack of identity, a lack of nationhood, which is what makes us human beings, mm. essentially. It's not being rooted, it's being considered minority populations when we come from global majorities. And it's about having second-class status and citizenship wherever we have been located as a result of this dispersal and depopulation that happened originally in Africa. And there is a phenomenon as well that you believe is, really does exist, which is post-traumatic slave syndrome. Yes, well, it's something that I've not coined, but many of our social mm. uh, theorists and psychologists and psychiatrists have been looking at the, some of the mm. negative legacies that we have internalized, the internalization of racism, self-hate, anti-African sentiments and prejudice and discrimination, mm. a loathing of ourselves, vacant to Self-loathing. Self-loathing. Yeah. Self-loathing mm. self in terms of not being proud of who we are, not being proud of our heritage, not being proud of our African ancestry, changing our looks to kind of emulate Caucasian beauty ideals. These are some of the real legacies today in terms of the psychology. We also have to look at the uh, rates of mental health illness. And this has also been linked to that. All roots back to slavery. All yeah. roots back yeah. to that. 